Hey guys, I'm gonna put Windows 8.1. I'm gonna install Windows 8.1 on this Cable Lake system. So, you know, this is pretty much a Cable Lake system. It's got that Cable Lake processor, it's 8 gen. Yup, and the full on stuff. And I got the product key. And I disabled Optane, of course, so it doesn't interfere with most of the stuff I do. Uh, and I already set up a partition for it, so... I don't know, it should say that it's gonna be able to run Windows 8.1. But, I'm gonna say this, I have hope in this because... Last time I did this with Optane, I was having like issues, so uh, I guess I'll let this run for some time, so... Guys, it's starting up. I don't know if it will start up, but I'm hoping in it. Come on, is it actually starting up? Oh, okay. So I think that means that it's actually starting up and not blue screaming on me. I think that means, I'm not really sure. Oh, yep, I think that the, I think that's a sign that it actually works. Hell yo, let's go. Unfortunately, the touch screen doesn't work, which is a bummer because I want it to, to work, so. But we actually got Windows 8.1 working on this Kibi Lake looking system we got here so yeah i'm gonna bring over a mouse real quick because i don't want to just i think i'm gonna be using a touch screen i'm gonna have to get touch screen drivers as well Oof. all right got my mouse up i think it should work it is all right so i'm gonna go ahead and wait for this to like get ready and stuff because it's like actually i think it's like doing something right now yeah so basically it's like doing stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and wait until oh well it's restarting so let me go ahead and stay within the process because i want to see how this goes <clears throat> i think this will go real well so and since i actually did in disable intel optane i might i might put an ssd on here a really good SSD, not an Intel Optane, because that sucks. Well, well it's, it's it doesn't suck, but I really don't like the Intel Optane pl platform. I mean, I could just go ahead and buy myself an SSD, uh, like a, a Samsung SSD or something like that, NVMe SSD, and just, well, boot it off of there. No Intel Optane, RAID crap, whatever it is. By the way, now this thing proved it can, it can run Windows 8.1, Windows 11, and 10. Nice. The operating systems. However, I'm not sure if the the operating system can support the graphics card. Well, it's integrated graphics. I <laughs> I didn't mean graphics card, but yeah, it integrated graphics. So at some point we'll ha we'll have to mod it, but it's not as bad because I'm pretty sure we won't need graphics sometimes. There we go. So we got ourselves. All right. So I can call this safe Gen X360. I don't know what I can name it, but I'll, I'll name it that. Express setting. I want to customize some of them. <laughs> nope. Uh, nope. Um, nope. 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 Sure. Nope. Um, I think about, um, L5. All right, so now it's finalizing my settings, and, well, I don't know, because, well, I got to get the touchscreen working. That's a part for the Windows 8.1 experience. You got to get the touchscreen working just because Windows 8.1 is solely designed for tablets. Maybe it is, but I just really like it on here. I just want to use it. All right, so I guess I'll check up on this thing later. Hey, here we are on the Cable Link system. Uh, yes, of course, no touchscreen support. So unfortunate I am. All right, so I guess I'll get this thing started. So there is no, you can see there is no network support. Uh, I'll fix that soon, of course. However, there is sound support. However, I don't, I don't even hear it. So I'll have to fix that too. It feels like I, I'm gonna have to like do all the driver installations like on Windows I mean, Windows 7. Yeah, unfortunately, most of the drivers aren't built for Windows 8.1 or 7. So, I'll, I'll try my best to, like, get all the drivers and stuff for this. So, the thing is, it's also running in UEFI, so it knows the resolution, but it does not know the graphics adapter. Yeah. 
All right, some of you may be asking, why don't you put Windows 10 on here? So, as you see earlier in the video, I already did so. But also, uh, I just wanted to like feel the touchscreen experience. So, all right, I got the, I got like the, yeah, so I got the video drivers. I mean, no, not the video drivers. I got the net, I got the network drivers. So I'm gonna go ahead and get snappy and uh, get everything installed. And to tell you, and to tell you how much drivers we're there, well, we're dealing with God. Now, Windows 8.1 wasn't officially supported for the Cable Lake systems, of course, because they were not supported by Microsoft anymore. So that's what I'm working with now, trying to get the drivers and stuff. God, Lee, that is a lot of drivers that I have to get through. Hopefully, this goes off of a good ending. All right, so I got my network driver installed. Now, all right, got got snappy oh my god that's a lot of drivers oh my oh my now i wanted to see um if i can actually use the the touch screen because the touch screen isn't actually working well now i'm gonna go ahead and get some chipset drivers and stuff bluetooth this this is get get all of them actually yeah yeah select all install and i'm gonna see how this goes that's not well that's not even surprising most of them didn't even install well well i am gonna go ahead and mod this one though i'm gonna mod this one so i think we're almost done and then we'll restart everything and then and after i restart i'll probably expect some of the drivers to actually work and uh i'll go ahead and mod some drivers so yeah let's go oh touchscreen is still not here Anyway, all right, so booting into Windows took way too long, and now this is really a mechanical hard drive that really sucks on here. But get this, it's still running Windows 8.1 on this Keyblink system. Awesome. Uh, yes, it is pinned at 100%. Yeah, I am using a mechanical hard drive. Don't blame me. Anyway, time to get some stuff working, like this touchscreen, which I know needs to work. I uh, modded a driver, so uh, I'm gonna guess this works because uh, I modded the graphics driver so it can work. Please work, please. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and let this run. Okay, so it looks like the graphics driver is like installing. However, I'm not seeing a screen. Um, it could be doing something else too. Um, there you go. Heard the sound. So that means it's probably working, but you're not seeing anything from the screen. But yeah, that modded driver is actually working. But I'm still getting a black screen though, which, which isn't normal. That screen is like turned off. I don't think that's normal at all. All right, so thanks to my triple boot partition, which had Windows 10 and 11 in it, uh, I, s I got myself into safe mode, which is good, but as you can see, the 620 is like enabled, so I'm gonna have to disable that, and uh, a cool looking start screen. I'll, I'll go ahead and restart. I'll hit restart. Okay, so I uh, disabled the display adapter in case it causes more issues. Um, indeed, this is a modded one. I didn't think this would cause some issues, but now it did. Let me try again. Oh, okay, that looked like it blacked out. And since this is a convertible, like a two-in-one XG60 tablet. Yep, you get to do that. And I'm going to try selecting... Okay. Well, that was very easy. Alright, so let me go ahead and take out the things I don't need. And then, uh, start off with these guys, put them somewhere, 
And I uh, got myself pretty hefty something. I'm going to go ahead and move this. No, we... I kind of do use the camera a little bit. Hmm. Okay, this is kind of smooth. I can see where it's going. Yeah. Smooth. Love it. Alright, so funny enough, when I was like, Installing some drivers and stuff like chips drivers. I wanted to like see if the Intel graphics will like install. I thought it wouldn't, but funny enough, it did. So here you have it. Intel graphics, uh, no modded drivers. Yep.